Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Suikoden 3. Okay. Thomas says hi. He's staring at you all. Anyway, um, so I did the uh, horse races a lot. Um, let's see, what did I get? I got a prosperity hat, which is pretty nice. Uh, defense plus 11, find treasure plus 1, and it's from the prosperity set. If you get all the prosperity items equipped on one person, uh, it's pretty good. It really makes a big difference. I don't remember exactly what it does. Uh, I got a Pale Moon Necklace, um, which is okay, but I was really looking for, uh, hoping for the Pale Moon Leather, which I did not get. Um, I got a Calarian Urn. I did get the Hexdoll S. Um, I think I got that Belt of Strength. I got a lot of deer antlers, which is annoying. Um... I think I might have gotten that recipe, and I think I got those milk bath beads. I can't remember exactly <clears throat> everything that I got. Uh, let's see, did I... I went ahead and equipped Thomas with the sunbeam beam rune. I think that's about it. Um, and I did not get the lightning magic ring either, which I was hoping for. Uh, let's go ahead and equip the Prosperity Hat on, uh, I think Piccolo is probably a good choice right now. Um, Pale Moon Necklace, probably better for, well, let's go with the, ah, ah, Belt of Strength, equip. What about... I'm gonna reduce my defense a little bit. Ah, uh, Cecile really doesn't need the defense all that much, so we'll go ahead and do that. And the Pale Moon Necklace... Who could we equip that to? There you go. And what else? Um, I can't identify those right now. I'd probably have to leave and go to another town. Uh, but I am going to drop off Marth. Well, can I sell my armor here? Let's see if I can do that. Nope, that's the uh, that's the rune shop. I meant over here. Let's see if I can sell those uh, those gauntlets. Go ahead and sell the new cask as well. Uh, good, I can. Anything else? Nope. All right. <clears throat> I did some training as well. Um, got a little bit of uh, uh, some uh, boosts in that. Um, let's go ahead and swap Martha out for someone else. So, this is my current party, uh, basically the same as before, but I put Augustine in. I need to rearrange uh, the parties a little bit. Uh, if I remove him, uh, I can put in Kenji, I can put in Twykin, or Augustine. I'm going to go with Augustine. Um, I think he's going to probably do a little bit more damage than Twykin. I'm not sure, but uh, what the heck, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and remove Martha, and so Sebastian has Potchfinder E. Uh, Gordon has Discount C and Trade-In D. Uh, Trade-In, I believe, means that if you get an item in your full, or maybe any time you get an item, it gives you an option of just selling it immediately rather than holding on to it. I think. Uh, you might also be able to sell things out in the field. I don't remember. I haven't played around with it yet. Um, Kid has Treasure Hunt C, uh, which technically now Piccolo has Treasure Hunt E because of the Prosperity Hat, I think. Oh, wait, no, he has Potchfinder, doesn't he? I don't know, I'll go take a look at that again. Uh, Kathy has Trade-In, Muto has Appraisal, and Mio has Healing B+, and Appraisal E. So let's go ahead and put uh, Mio in the party. <clears throat> so we're going to have a little bit of battle coming up. Shouldn't be anything difficult, but might as well just top up our hit points after battle. Uh, let's see, what was that? What was I going to check?
Yeah, find treasure plus one. So, yeah, treasure finder, he now is technically E on that. We go into status. Who have we not looked at? Have we looked at Mel? A young lady who talks with a doll. Branky. She insists that she is... Oh, no, we have. Augustine. An aristocrat of unknown sex, with a stunning attack to which all surviving enemies will attest. He's got a mustache. He's a slasher. Um, I think we've done them. And Mio. Nurse who looks after castle inhabitants' health. Her smile and gracious nursing manner make her quite popular among, the pa among her patients. Okay. So the first thing that we can do, a uh, little fun thing that we can do, is run over here. We got a different kennel. Go ahead and change it to the castle kennel. Ooh. Look, now you have a castle. It's a pretty little castle. Uh, next up, we have a... Ah, okay, fine. Put it right here. Put the clarion urn there. There we go. Just because we could sell it. Get some reasonable money, but we don't need to. Why are you... Why are you just staring at the empty picture frame and, and I'm getting some odd clipping there? You're a weird duck. Okay, next thing that we want to do, this is um, to recruit someone specific in here. We want to head over here. We can place the hex doll S. And now we do not want to come back into this room for a very, very long time. It will be a very long time before we come back in here. But that is specifically to recruit someone, and dang it, I was not expecting that. Shizu, does it work now? Yes, everything checks out fine. It's cleaned and oiled to perfection. Can we ride it? Yes, this will be our test run. Welcome aboard. Uh, I was kind of hoping to do something else first. Well, shucks. Whee! Uh, that wasn't exactly fun. I was hoping for something a little bit more. Budhook Castle, second floor, ladies' lingerie. Home to the Master's Quarters, the Library, and the Hall of Statues. Ooh, so not fast. Wow, amazing! Right to the second floor, just like that? I like elevators. And on to the next floor. This is not exactly a fast elevator, Shizu. Can't we speed it up a bit? What is it, a hydraulic lift? Ugh, I hate hydraulic elevators. So slow. Budhu Castle, first floor, the grand lobby, dining room, and great hall. Hey, this is back where we started. We try to stop at every floor. If no one wants off here, we'll move on to the next floor. So, you're like a little kid who presses all the buttons. That's... great. So is it gonna go faster next time, Shizu? Budhu Castle, basement level. The warehouse is located here. You can also get to the ship from here. Oh, and also there's a bondage room. Uh, I'm sorry about the bondage room, Master. This makes it a lot easier to bring goods into the castle. Don't exceed the weight limit. This is one of the first elevators ever built. The design hasn't been perfected yet. Oh. 
Now on to the next floor. This is really not a very fast elevator. Budahook Castle, basement, second level, and here you'll find the vault and old dungeons. <laughs> dungeons. Oh, Sebastian. Ho ho ho! My legs start to give out with age. It's been a long time since I've been down here. This is incredible, Shizu! It's just like when I was a kid! It seems the elevator here is quite happy to be working again, too. It told me so. It speaks to me at night. That's right, it always looked so sad to me before. To me as well. Well, let's go on to the next floor. Uh, huh? The next floor? Yeah, wasn't the second basement the uh, lowest level? Hmm. Oh, it's awfully dark down here. This is the bottom floor. Huh? What is this place? Uh, I haven't the slightest idea. I must not tell them that it's my fun room. I never knew this place existed. I found many new places in this castle while I was looking for Ike, but I never dreamt of looking down, looking here. You didn't even know here existed. They may be somewhere deep in here. That's right. Maybe IK is somewhere in this place. But let's not look. I, I don't want you to find my fun room. Yes, maybe. I think we ought to at least check it out. <laughs> well, let's go then. Oh, why not? I did come here to s come here to see something unusual, so I might as well go along. Sebastian will join you for now. Ah, oh, I wanted. Oh. Oh, that's right, I did want to swap them around. Um, actually, that's fine. We'll keep them there. Mel has more hit points anyway. Can I go back up? The elevator's working nicely now. Can I go back up? Yes, I can! Alright. Which floor do you desire? Um, I actually want to go back here for a moment. Yeah, unfortunately, it's really not all that much faster to do this, uh, rather than... Wow, that's... this is... this is some room. It's not really all that much faster than, uh, um, taking the stairs. Ho oh, ho, an investigation! I'm your man! I'll show you what a full investigation really means! Alright, so, um, you can, of course, scout for new people, or you can do an inquiry on your current characters. Let us go ahead and initiate the one for Mel. Because why not? And then, of course, he'll vanish for a while. So, basically the exact same as uh, Richmond in the last game. Alright, let's head back into the um, elevator. And we'll go back to the sub-level home. Huh? And of course, everything has five floors, so... Uh, let's see, we do not have a map here. And I immediately get into a rare combat. Wow. Well, it's just auto battle. I don't, I don't think that there's anything really to worry about. I say that, and then we kill neither of them. Alright, now we killed him. Did we get anything good? Not really. I got a waking rune, wow.
Um, waking runes really aren't all that good, though. I mean, it's nice to start out with uh, um, Berserk, but uh, you miss out on the first turn, at least, if not a lot more. There's a fork in the corridor. At least now I can eat something. Sure is. Hmm. How about we take the one on the right first? Let's just make this quick. Quick. We can check them out. Check them both out by splitting it into two groups. You and Cecile go that way, and me and the old man will check out the other. Uh, but I just want to get this over with. Come on, let's go, old man. Oh, <laughs> stop calling me old man. I am the great fortune teller. I don't know, care how great you are. Let's just go. Oh, wait for me. Fine with me. This way, then. There's nothing to be worried about, Thomas. I I'll go along with you. I'll be right behind you. I'm game. Here we go. Great. All right. Well, shucks. One is left. Piccolo is left. Oh. <laughs> and I immediately get into a battle. Nice. All right, Mega Walkie. Time to die. Hey, nice. Thanks, Mel and Augustine. Augustine can get pretty good uh, later with a couple of uh, um, accessories. Um... Like, right now, I've got him... Uh, oh, Sebastian is just as a guest right now. I still do have Mio. Uh, uh, no, not that. Uh, <clears throat> so I've got him with the Rose Brooch, Swing plus one. So you can get... Um, you can easily get uh, Swing up to uh, S level with uh, items like this. There's another one later that will give Swing plus two for him. Um, so it's, uh, pretty good to just, like, load them down with those. Oh, great, f another fork. Well, kill a Megawaki again, let's see. I think this is one that we want to, well... Let's go this way first. Okay. Excuse me, there's uh, nothing down here. Go this way instead. It was the right choice all along. No, it's the left choice. You know what I mean, Cecile. Looks like there's ore in the walls or something. We've come to an open space. Shh, be quiet, Thomas. Look over there. What could it be? Who, who could be hiding in such a place? Hard to believe anyone would. Perhaps Ike has been kidnapped and is being held for ransom. D dear me, another cost we don't need. That's an awfully uh, big leap to take. Uh, well, we, I don't know about that. Come on, Thomas. We'll charge him. Well, wait a minute. Don't worry. Yeah. That's just one. It's okay. So you gored him with your boar spear. Uh, huh? Seal, what are you trying to do? I want a Mr. Piccolo. What do you know? Both corridors converge here. Ho, ho. Uh. Oh, look, they're back, and they're in the wrong order. And again, I take a single freaking step. Alright, let's just murder everything. These are the things that we were fighting on the uh, mountain path, weren't they? I hated them. At least we killed them pretty fast. And then he fires his laser beam at us. Laser mission. Yeah, thank you. Just kill it. Kill it already. 
Medicine D, Medicine D. I haven't spent Mel's points yet because I kind of want to get her a lightning rune since she can use one. Um, but I haven't been able to buy one yet. Oh, great, you guys again. Uh, let's just keep autoing. I'm not sure if Mel is going to get a chance to attack. Oh no, one point of damage. Much prefer that. There we go. Hey! Well, what's that sound? Cecile, try to control your charging instincts, will you? Oh, alright. I'm sorry I was wrong before. Anyway, let's go in. Are, are, are you sure this is safe? There could be some double-headed serpent down there that's really, really hungry. No, that's up on the mountain path, Sebastian. Only one way to find out. What the hell is going on here? Ike! Well, I see everyone's all here. Have you come to read as well? What are you talking about? You've been gone for weeks now. We were worried, so we came looking for you. Oh, bother. Didn't mean to put you on alert. I lose track of time when I'm down here. Well, thank goodness you're all right. Do you come here often just to read? Yes, it's quiet and cool down here. Most importantly, kids don't come around much. Taking the time to read books is my favorite thing. I've got to get back now, but please feel free to use this space anytime. Well, thank you, but how the hell did you get down here? Pfft, that guy is weird. But I'm sure glad he's okay. Besides, now we've solved the mystery of his occasional disappearances. That's right. Well, I suppose we should get going. Uh, um, Thomas? What is it, Mr. Sebastian? Don't you wonder how he got down here in the first place? Fate to black. And we're done with Thomas's chapter. Let's go ahead and read his bio. Young Thomas, who comes from an unknown land, obeys his father's orders to become the lord of a declining castle. Although he is not acquainted with the unruly inhabitants of his new home, he gradually becomes fond of them and the castle. When he learns that the castle is financially hindered, he makes a proposal to freely rent the merchant's castle property, which stands on land jointly owned by Zexan and Grassland. Thomas and his friends visit nearby towns and villages to recruit tenants, hoping to return the castle to its previous prosperity. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, save the game and end the episode here, and we will choose another chapter, one of uh, the other uh, characters' chapters too. But I'm gonna wait into and do um, Thomas's chapter. Well, I'm, I'll double check it, but uh, I, I'm pro at, at this point I'm thinking of uh, waiting until after everyone else's chapter threes before I do chapter two. Um, we'll see. Until next time, everyone.